long ago, around 200 million years ago, during the Triassic period, during the dawn of the dinosaurs, northern Arizona was home to a grand swampy forest with a thriving ecosystem of various organisms, including reptiles, like phytosaurs and aetosaurs. Remnants of this once elaborate forest system can still be seen at Petrified Forest National Park, with massive logs scattered everywhere. However, Petrified Forest is for another video. Still, today's fossil relates to the magnificent petrified wood that can be found in Arizona, but is a very unique rare variant with a lot of science behind its peculiar color. Hello everyone, welcome back to Paleostork, and today we have yet another rare fossil that is one of my favorites in my collection because of how unique it is with regards to its very cool and vibrant color. Green petrified wood. Specifically, it is either of the genus Aurichurioxalon or Woodworthia, more likely Aurichurioxalon. However, the name has been in dispute for some years now because Aurichurioxalon arizonicum may actually be composed of other different genera and species rather than just one. It comes from the Chinle Formation in northern Arizona and dates back to the late Triassic, which is around here on a geologic time scale, 225 million years ago. For the dimensions, it has a width of about 2 centimeters, a depth of about 2 to 2.2 centimeters, and a height of about 1.8 centimeters. Petrified wood in general is one of the more common fossils that are available, but what makes them really special is the variety of colors they can possess. Depending on where they are found, they can be found in almost every color of the rainbow, from vibrant reds to dark blacks to a mixture of multiple different colors. This specimen possesses this rare color of mint green. The reason why it is so rare is because it comes from a small deposit near Winslow, Arizona that was discovered in the 1970s. Such a short range where this green Arizona petrified wood is found has made this color variant highly sought after. But you may be asking, why does this piece of petrified wood even display this color? Well, to answer that question, let's head to the drawing board. With some chemistry, we can understand exactly why a pale green color appears. To start, wood petrification most commonly occurs with silica, otherwise known as silicon dioxide, which is the same compound found in quartz. With trace amounts of certain elements, specifically transition metals, they can create various colors. These specific elements here, from atomic number 21 to 29, have partially filled d orbitals. An orbital is essentially an area or region within an atom that an electron is most likely to be seen in. D orbitals look like these. By being partially filled, electrons jump between different positions in the d orbital. These electrons absorb energy to do this, specifically energy in the visible spectrum of the electromagnetic spectrum. Since these are the only wavelengths that are visible to us in the form of colors, what results is bright colors that we can see with our eyes. Green color either results from the presence of iron or chromium, with chromium being the dominant element in only some bright green wood, with the specimens from the location in Arizona being part of that group. Thus, this wood is not only rare because of its limited location, but also because of the about 2% chromium content that it contains that produces this green color. Fun fact, chromium is also the element partially responsible for why emeralds get their exquisite green color. Green petrified wood can also be found in places like Zimbabwe, Africa which also has chromium being the element primarily responsible, Hampton Butte, Oregon, and Nye County, Nevada. The origin of this colorant element is usually from the fossilization process, either from the matrix and sediment bearing the fossil, 
or from a source elsewhere with the elements carried to the specimen by groundwater. Nevertheless, the fact of having just the right conditions to produce this fossil, much like any other rare fossil, is really incredible and it's just one example of the powerful force and wonder of nature. When taking a look under the microscope, we can really see the striations of this piece of petrified wood around a specimen that resembles the original bark when this tree was still alive. We can also see how mineralized this wood has become and the quartz that has replaced the original organic matter to create this fossil. It is quite amazing how even with an arguably small specimen, we are able to discover and learn so much. The science behind simply why this petrified wood appears green to us is complex and shows us how paleontology is a scientific field that branches off into other fields, in this case, chemistry. Hopefully, if this piece of green petrified wood tells us anything, is that fossils are not only remarkable pieces of the past, but are examples of science at play right before our eyes that just require a little digging by us to understand what they are hiding. Thank you all so much for watching, and please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell to help support this channel. Happy fossils!